We're asked to write a simplex matrix for the following standard maximization problem. We have an objective function we're trying to maximize and our constraints. For review, I think we'll first create a simplex tableau given here, and then we'll use this to write the simplex matrix. So we'll be following these three steps here. Step one, convert the system of inequalities given by the constraints to equations using slack variables. So we won't do this for these last two inequalities, we'll only write equations for the first two. Notice these last two tell us that x and y are non-negative. So for 2x plus 5y is less than or equal to 35, we could add some variable to the left so the left side would equal 35. So we'll call our variable u, which is our slack variable. So we'd have the equation 2x plus 5y plus u equals 35. For the second inequality, we use a second slack variable, which we'll call v. So if we add v to the left side, for some value of v, it would equal 22. So we'd have 5x plus 3y plus v equals 22. And now step two, we want to set the objective function equal to zero. We want f to remain positive, so we'll subtract x on both sides and add 5y to both sides. So we'd have negative x plus 5y plus f equals zero. And now we have all the information we need in order to write the simplex tableau. We begin by labeling our columns with the variables used. We're using x, y, u, v, and f. And now the entries in row one will come from equation one. They'll be the coefficients of the terms. So the entries will be two, five, one. The coefficients of v and f are zero, so we'll have zero, zero, thirty-five. Let's record this, so we have two, five, one, zero, zero, thirty-five. For the second row, we'd have five, three, zero, one, zero, twenty-two. So five, three, zero, because there's no u term, one, zero, because there's no f term, and twenty-two. And now for the third row, we'd have negative one, five, zero, zero, one, zero. So negative one, five, zero, zero, one, zero. So these three rows are going to make up the simplex matrix, but sometimes you'll see the active variables listed here on the left. So let's go ahead and do that. The active variables can be found by looking at the columns that only contain one and zeros. So notice how the u column only contains the one and zeros, so u is active. So because we have a one here, we put a u next to row one. Notice how v is also active, so we'll put a v in front of row two. And then notice that f is also active, so we'll put an f in front of row three. Knowing the active variables is important when identifying the solution given by the final tableau using the simplex method. So our simplex matrix will be a three by six matrix. The first row would be two, five, one, zero, zero, thirty-five. The second row would be five, three, zero, one, zero, twenty-two. And the third row would be negative one, five, zero, zero, one, zero. So again, this question only asks for the simplex matrix, which is this matrix here. I hope you found this helpful.